Mercury was officially observed for the first time 2200 years ago. However, we still know very little about this planet compared to other more popular planets of our solar system. Mercury is rarely visible. As such, it's always been difficult for astronomers to observe it through a telescope. Due to its proximity to the sun, viewing Mercury faces an additional challenge. Regardless of its position in the solar system, many consider Mercury one of the most attractive planets. Curious to know more? I'm Mike with List 25 and check out these 25 amazing but true facts about the planet Mercury. But before we get started, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and click that notification bell. Twenty-five. The planet was named after the Greek god Hermes, who the Romans worshipped as well and called Mercury. Hermes was known for being the messenger of the gods. 24. Mercury was one of the five original planets. Along with Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, Mercury is visible from Earth with the naked eye. As such, it was mentioned as early as the second millennia BCE by the Sumerians. The Babylonians called the planet Naboo. Oh, huh, nice! The first officially recorded observation of the planet was made by a Greek astronomer named Timocharis in 265 BCE. The Greeks called the planet Apollo during the day and Hermes during the evening. 23. You already know this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Mercury has the honor of being the closest planet to the sun. As a result, the rays from the sun that hit Mercury are seven times more powerful than those that reach our planet. In other words, Mercury is not the best place to get a safe tan. Probably is the best place to get a tan in general, though. Just not safe. <laughs> 22. Mercury is also the smallest planet in the solar system. Suck it, Pluto, I guess. It has a diameter of 4,879 kilometers. For the record, Pluto's equatorial diameter is just 2,302 kilometers, about half of Mercury's width, but it's not considered a major planet anymore. 21. Despite its very small size, Mercury is very dense. This is because it's composed mainly of heavy metals and rock. In fact, Mercury is the second most dense planet in our solar system. The densest planet happens to be Earth. I can agree with that. We're all dense. 20. You may have heard that Mercury lacks an atmosphere, and this is actually what many scientists believed until recently. Truth is that Mercury has an atmosphere, it's just a very thin one. The planet's thin atmosphere is constantly being blown away into space by the pressure of sunlight and by the solar wind, so it feels like there's no atmosphere at all. 19. Despite Mercury being the closest planet to the sun, it's only the second hottest planet. Venus is actually the hottest. The temperature on Mercury during the day reaches 840 degrees Fahrenheit, or 450 Celsius. 18. Although it's very hot during the day on Mercury, things get really cold during the nights there. But how is that possible when it's so close to the sun, right? The answer is that Mercury loses almost all its heat due to the fact that there is almost no atmosphere to keep the warmth on the planet's surface. The temperature can fall to almost negative 363 degrees Fahrenheit during the night, which is negative 184 Celsius. 17. The super hot days and very cold nights on Mercury make the planet unique. The temperature on Mercury's surface fluctuates more widely than any other planet. It can vary by 1,168 degrees Fahrenheit or 649 Celsius during the day. 16. As mentioned in the previous point, since Mercury has less mass than Earth, the gravity on Mercury is less than it is on Earth. To get a better idea, the surface gravity on Mercury is only about 38% of the surface gravity on Earth. 15. Due to the reduced gravity, if you weigh roughly 200 pounds on our planet, you would weigh 76 pounds on Mercury. Anyone trying to diet or struggling with your weight, you know the right place to go now. I'm off to Mercury. 14. Along with Venus, Mercury is the only other planet in our solar system that has no moons at all. Sorry folks, but Mercury is not your ideal destination if you're into romantic nights and kisses in the moonlight. Also, you die! <laughs> hey, that might be people's ideal location then, I don't know. 13. 
Mercury may not have any moons and rings, but it has wrinkles. According to NASA experts, wrinkle ridges on the surface of the planet were caused by the shrinking of the surface following the cooling and shrinking of the core of the planet. As the core kept cooling and shrinking, the surface was forced to shrink as well, developing wrinkles scattered across the planet. I'm gonna go bring some anti-wrinkle cream and just rub it all over Mercury and see what happens. 12. Astronomers have suggested that Mercury may be the planet with the most craters in our solar system. On a planet like Earth or Mars, we don't see as many craters. Most of them have been eroded by wind, rain, volcanic activity, and other natural phenomena. The almost non-existent atmosphere on Mercury, though, means that there is also no weather to erode the craters. As a result, the planet is full of them. 11. Only two spacecraft have visited Mercury so far, NASA's Mariner 10 and Messenger. Mariner 10 was a flyby mission and provided the first real images of the planet during three passes in 1974 and 75. Messenger also made flybys before studying the planet from an orbit between 2011 and 2015. 10. Mercury is the planet with the most eccentric orbit in the solar system. What is an eccentric orbit, you ask? The eccentricity of an astronomical object is a parameter that determines the amount by which its orbit around another body deviates from a perfect circle. Interestingly, its eccentricity is not all that impressive compared to those of dwarf planets and some known extrasolar planets. Pluto, for example, has a more eccentric orbit than Mercury, but it's not considered a real planet anymore. Wow, we're just harshing on Pluto today. 9. What's even more impressive about Mercury's orbit is its incredible speed. It is the fastest planet in our solar system, with an average speed of around 105 miles or 170 kilometers per hour. 8. Because of its crazy speed, Mercury circles the Sun in only 88 Earth days. Comparatively, our planet needs 365 days to do the same. If you lived on Mercury, you would only have about three months to complete all your New Year's resolutions. Oh. And you die! 7. It was once widely accepted by most astronomers that a planet named Vulcan existed between the orbit of Mercury and the Sun. However, the existence of such a planet was never confirmed. 6. Despite being so close to the Sun, images from the messenger have shown that the planet's north and south poles are shadowy and cold. There's even evidence of ice in the shadows of some craters. Some astronomers have suggested that comets and meteorites might have transported ice to those cold areas of the planet. 5. With a radius of 1,100 to 1,200 miles, the core in Mercury makes up about 85% of the planet's radius. Radar images taken from Earth revealed that the core is molten liquid rather than solid. Additionally, Mercury's core has more iron than any other planet in the solar system. 4. The Mariner 10 spacecraft observed the magnetic field of Mercury and its magnetosphere in March of 1974 and again in March of 1975. This spacecraft determined the field's strength to be 1.1% of Earth's magnetic field. When Messenger was launched to Mercury back in 2004, we discovered that Mercury's magnetic field might have once been much stronger than it is now. What happened to change this? No one knows. 3. Mercury's gravity is too weak to hold a thick or permanent atmosphere. When atoms evaporate from the planet's surface due to solar photons or other processes, some of these atoms form a tail that points away from the Sun. 2. A single day on Mercury lasts about 58 Earth days. Due to its fast orbital velocity and slow sidereal rotation, the time it takes for the Sun to return to the same place in the sky is actually 176 Earth days. 1. The Caloris Basin is the largest feature on the surface of Mercury. It's also one of the largest impact basins in the solar system. It was formed by a gigantic meteorite crashing into Mercury's surface during the early formation of the solar system almost 4 billion years ago. Astronomers have been able to observe only half of the crater. The other half was hiding in darkness when Mariner 10 flew by the planet. The Caloris Basin is about 960 miles, or 1,540 kilometers wide. So, Mercury, am I right? Let us know in the comments below, or tweet your answer to us at list25. 
enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button on the bottom right and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.